Well, certainly the indicators are, are dark for the foreseeable future, but the, those same uh, projections for a constriction of the economy in 2020 show a, a robust rebound in 2021, a some 6% growth rate projected for British Columbia from most of the private sector forecasters. So I'm looking to the horizon, hopefully, uh, that we can endure this difficult time. And that's why we're joining with the federal government, putting in place programs to help people get through this difficult period with significant stimulus, uh, whether it be the federal CERB program, whether it be uh, the emergency worker program that is eligible, the people will be eligible for effective uh, Friday of this week. Uh, helping people with their rent, whether they're commercial operation or they're individuals. These are things that will help us get through this shrinking of the economy. But we will also need to ensure that we're focused on how do we welcome the world to British Columbia again when it comes to tourism, and how do we ensure that people will want to buy our products again. If it were just British Columbia that was seeing this uh, constraints in the economy and the reduction in growth, that would be one thing. But it is everywhere in the world that's seeing the same negative numbers. So although we have uh, quality wood products and a whole host of other things that the world have been buying for us from us for a long, long time, the world has stopped buying. British Columbians have stopped buying. And so therefore, we're going to see a reduction in economic growth. But we do continue to have a dynamic, diverse workforce, uh, multilingual, multicultural. Uh, we have a, a tech sector that is, that is extraordinary. We have a film and television industry that can, I believe, come back more quickly than in other places because of the good work of British Columbians in keeping our, our curve on a growing a number of uh, confirmed cases to a minimum. These are the types of things that investors look at when they're looking at now freeing up their dollars when we look at recovery and stimulus uh, into the late summer and early fall. And that's where we're focusing our efforts. Keep in mind, uh, Carol James put aside a $1.5 billion for stimulus that we are not touching until we get into a place where people start to have more confidence, not just here in BC, but around the world that the economy is on the rebound. And so we're watching those indicators closely, Tanya, and they're concerning, but they're concerning in every corner of the world, and therefore we can take some comfort from that. The economy is people. People are the economy. And uh, all of the businesses that have been shuttered over the past six weeks could open tomorrow. And if the public, the consuming public, is not confident in their personal well-being, they're not going to enter those uh, establishments. So this is a, a cooperative approach. And I didn't want, as other provinces have done, lay out a plan talking about the future because that gives a signal to the, the, tra the, the broader public that all is well. You can come out of your home and, and get back into regular behavior. We are not there yet. Dr. Henry's been pretty clear on that. We're in a good place, a very good place, relative to other jurisdictions. But poll after poll and everybody I talk to says, let's not give up the gains we've made by jumping too early, trying to get back to where we were. Because where we were is a long way off, regardless of what the plan says, when it's tabled, how comprehensive it is. We have a long way to go and we need to do it together with confidence on the business side and on the consumer side that when we get back up and running, we're not going to have to slip back to further restrictions in the fall or even sooner if we see a spike in cases. That's what's been guiding us. We do not want to give up the position we have in Canada as the, the jurisdiction that's been focusing on public health first and foremost and trying to fill, because of the strength of our economy before the pandemic, we're trying to fill those gaps as best we can to keep people going and to have confidence that in this, all of us in this together will be successful.